But before we start today's video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification icon, and like, share, and comment to this video. And so the product that I'm going to introduce to you is the Solar Wireless Security Camera. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you the box. And this is the Q3 Max. And that's what it looks like in the box. Swipe right, we've got a siren. Okay, what's in the box? Well, you have your manual, which by the way, it's very easy to install. I'll explain to you how to do that. It also comes with your hardware. You have a sticker that you can use, letting people know that you have a 24 hour surveillance. You have your charger, USB charger, which means you can actually charge it with the USB as well as the solar panel, which also comes up so you can plug it into the camera. Um, you also have your attachment, which this one here is going to be attached to the panel. You'll need to screw this piece in onto here, onto here, sorry. This one is to be used for the camera. You'll notice that on the bottom, there's a piece there for you to slide this in. It comes to the camera. You'll notice that the antenna, you can move it up and down. I would just place it just like so. That works for me. Now on the top of the camera, you'll notice there's a flap here that you want to open up. That's where you want to place your SD card. Make sure you place it in correctly so it doesn't jam up. And then you want to make sure you close it up like so. Very simple. Now, when you're ready to um, charging it, whether it's the USB cable or the solar panel, right on the back where the antenna is, just go ahead and take it. You want to plug it right in there. It's very simple. All you have to do is, and it's right on there. So let's go ahead and install it. Guys, I'm going to place it right on top of the roof. So you're not going to be able to see it. I can't bring up the camera up there, but I assure you that's where it's going to go. And to make things easy for you, all you have to do is unscrew, just loosen that up and then take this piece off and then you can just lay this onto where you want to place it. Remember to take off this sticker here and there's another one on here. Make sure that piece is on top. And just go ahead and slide it in, push in, flex in, and you're good to go. Okay guys, so first you want to go ahead and scan the code, whether it be the Apple Store or Google Play. It will bring you to this page here. Go ahead and press install. Go ahead and press open. You sign up now, go ahead and click on that. And just go ahead and follow your information that you need to put in. Once you're on the sign up, you want to go ahead and put in your email. 
click on you agree the user agreement and then hit next here you can just go ahead and give yourself a nickname enter your password and confirm your password and then press done when signing up make sure you put your region United States wherever you're from that's where you want to put right on here now before we add any devices in regards to where you want to put it in your living room your bedroom you could scroll you can see the door the backyard the first thing we need to do is bring the camera and your phone as close as possible to the router so we can set up the Wi-Fi for the camera so let's go ahead and add a device which is the camera of course Now you need to pick the actual camera itself, the Q3, Q3 Max. So let's go ahead and hit that. Press and hold the device power button to start the device. Now go ahead and take off this cover here. And on the right side here is the power button. So you want to go ahead and press the power button so we can turn on the camera. Hold on. And then you heard that, it went on. Go ahead and press next. Go ahead and pick whether you just want it to be used while using this app, only this time, or don't allow. So I, I'm going to go ahead and pick while using the app. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the reset button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now you can see that it's flashing. Go ahead and press next. Select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Now you wanna go ahead and set the Wi-Fi to your 2.4. And so I'm gonna set that up now. Please make sure when you're setting up the Wi-Fi, have the SD card inside before doing so. Okay guys, now once that's all done, you wanna go ahead, when you press next, a scan code's gonna show up on your phone. You wanna be able to scan the camera with the lens and make sure you remove any type of covering. There's um, plastic coverings on the lens. You wanna remove that and then go ahead and scan it with the camera. So let's go ahead and press next. And go ahead and press next. Connecting, please wait a moment. So now it's gonna to connect to your camera. All right guys, let's go ahead and move it to the right. Let's move it to the left. Down. And up. Guys, it actually has a light as well. That's great. You can just go ahead and use your the app to do that. Go ahead and turn it off. In case of an emergency and you're laying down in bed and you hear somebody coming into your house, go to your app and just press siren. <coughs> It's loud enough for your neighbors to hear it. They ain't scare away anybody that's trying to get into your home. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Is it working? I believe it did work. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and go over some of the things that I've already done. Which when you want to talk, you want to press down and hold it down so you could speak to the person that's outside. Maybe a delivery person. If you want to record, you can just go ahead and press record. Now it's recording. And then when, it, when you want it to stop, just hit it again. And you'll see the recording is right there. If you want to play it, there's not going to be much to play because I don't have too many uh, activities going on in front of my house. Um, 
You can do the screenshots. So if you just press the screenshot, it'll take a picture. PTZ. Now you could, with your fingers, you could actually move the camera. But with the PTZ, you could actually move it all the way up to the side, as I was doing when um, when I was outside. So that works pretty well. The picture is amazing. I mean, it looks really good. Um, now your history, of course, would be anything that you recorded. It would be on there. And then if you come over to hold on, sorry, up here. This is gonna. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff here, and I'm very impressed about everything that it does. Um, you could share your device with family members. You could set up your imaging. Um, I mean, I think this is this is actually pretty good. I don't like it. Um, as far as um, you always want to, don't put it on custom mode. Put it on power saving mode. So with that said, guys, I think as you move your phone this way, you can see the whole picture. Okay, so before I give it a bow or a wow, I gotta tell you, what doesn't this camera have? It's got strobe lights, it's got a free app, it's got an alarm system, it has a light, it has the control of moving it right, left, up, down. It's got night vision, it's got day. You could share it with uh, family members. You can control pretty much everything on it. Listen, the bottom line is this. You saw the video, um, I pretty much covered as much as I could. And I have to say, I am gonna give it a,